Mit Sohn. We met a guy called Dirk, or oh, Dirk, yeah. from Germany, a uh, really interesting guy. And he cycled all the way through China, he spent five years cycling through Laos. He was telling us about the time he got arrested in Iran a couple of times, for being a crazy guy and taking photos of military installations. <laughs> That's going to get you arrested, people. So that is the end of our little Lang Namthas day. We spent yesterday just relaxing, which is always good to just rest the legs. We went for dinner with Dirk, our new German friend, who is also a long distance cycle tourist. But he awesomely gave us uh, two Chinese maps. It would be invaluable for our planning. We're now going to go and have some breakfast before we go. It's so great to meet you. Great to meet you. Enjoy your cycle. Continue singing, continue yes. cycling. <laughs> Remember the gorilla. Remember the gorilla, yeah. <laughs> Big decisions ahead. Somebody pulled up in a car, a Chinese guy. Uh, we know they were Chinese because firstly he shouted, I'm Chinese! <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, he had Chinese license plates and he came over and offered us with offer, he gave us two bottles of mini water. Yeah, that was very kind. He was like very keen to be nice and friendly to some weary travellers on the road. And then that sparked Adam kind of suggesting or throwing out there and the idea of why don't we head to China sooner because we're only what 25k? In five kilometres time we get to a town which is the town you go turn right and you continue through Laos and Vietnam and so on our current plan or if you turn left in 20 kilometers time you're at the Chinese Lao border now this is very very tempting for someone like Adam it is tempting to go over into China sooner rather than later we need to make a decision let's pour up these maps the camera's gonna come off once we've decided we'll tell you the decision we've made a decision which way we're gonna go I think you can tell from that reaction what we're going to do. Something I really believe in is to do something every day that scares you a little bit. Yeah. And going into China now scares me more than going into Vietnam in a few days time. It's all about, for us, what excites us the most in this moment. And this is the thing about our plan and our cycle trip is we can change our mind, our whim, as long as we've I done a bit that. of loose planning towards it, so we mm. give ourselves options. Chinese visas in their passport. Yeah. What shall we do? We're going to China, baby! towards the Lao China border was the worst road we had experienced on the journey so far. The Chinese are building a high-speed rail link that they plan to connect China with Bangkok. If this was a sign of things to come in China, we wasn't looking forward to it. Had we made a mistake to enter China this way, time would only tell. Some absolutely huge developments going on here in this pretend town. Palm trees, duty free is huge, 
They're going to turn this into a city, it looks like. Yeah, full on. Absolutely wiped out. All the forest. Uh, so the bad news is Super Fancy Hotel wants to charge us £30 a night, which is well out of our budget for Southeast Asia so far. It does look very fancy though. The other problem is they want to charge us in Chinese money. We're not in China yet, so we don't have any. So after unsuccessfully trying to find somewhere else to stay, we've come back to Fancy Pants Hotel. They did tell me at first there was no rooms, I think because I look like a scruff bag. We're going to pay £30 for a night. Alright, let's get into Fancy Pants Hotel. The We would never normally stay in a hotel that's this expensive. 30 pounds English we spend. It's a bit more than we, yeah, a little bit more. But this is the only hotel we could find in this town. One. Two, we wanted to look at Wi-Fi and do some planning before we go into China. And we've got a load of Lao currency that so far we don't know when we're gonna change it, so we thought we'd just spend it. <laughs> Why not? It just means that we'll have to sleep in the tent for a couple of weeks. Right. You feel ill? Yeah. Oh. Horrible. I feel the worst I've felt for a long time. Goodness. We've decided that we're going to stay in Bhutan, which is this uh, border town we're in. Uh, next to China for one more night. But if you're going to be sick somewhere, this is probably quite a good place to be ill. True. I've also made a decision, which some of you may be happy with, and some of you are going to be super disappointed with. I'm going to shave my beard off. Dun, bun, bun. Not many shower shaving stuff either, so I'm just going to use some uh, good old fashioned shampoo and soap. It's going to be uncomfortable. But uh, the hair staying long, that's not getting cut. That's going to stay all the way till we get back. Yeah. Uh, so certainly, some of you will only be half happy. <laughs> but uh, right, let's get this done. This is a sad day for me. That is a lot of hair. <laughs> I might just leave it like that. Leg razor. Works on a leg, it'll work on a face. This is my, uh, my French David Brent face. Hair looks longer. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Nice uh, 80s scratching around. Ba -ba! <laughs> I've shaved my beard off! <laughs> my hair looks really long now. China tomorrow! <laughs> Lucy is feeling pretty fragile at the moment, but we should still come out like a trooper. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to get on the bicycle tomorrow at the moment. No, I don't. Hopefully, I'll yeah. have to leave you here. Yeah. <laughs>